News 8 at 6 starts now. We start with IT Main and a central Indiana neighborhood that is on high alert after a series of dog attacks. We first told you about this issue back in June when two dogs viciously attacked a mail carrier. IT Main's Richard Essex has uh, now learned of another attack on that same street. My teammate can confirm there have been at least three dog attacks from dogs living at this house behind me. Two postal carriers and most recently a 12-year-old boy attacked in the middle of the day. Amy Patterson and her 12-year-old son Tillman sat next to each other on the front porch of their house in Greenfield. Tillman has autism and he's not been far from his mother's side since a dog attack late last week. Patterson says her son was attacked while he was out for a walk. Someone did intervene and stop the attack. He suffered a few bites on the knee and a new fear of most dogs. Patterson knew right away where the dog lived. The police came out. The kids admitted that the dog had gotten out. And, you know, we saw them actually go to the side and shut the gate because the gate had been left open. Over the past several weeks, at least two mail carriers have been attacked on the same street. The dog suspected the attacks had been removed from the house. The Greenfield Animal Care and Control Office provided these pictures of the dogs. High Team 8 is told there's a third dog in the house, the one suspected of attacking Tillman. Nate Luke lives right next door, and earlier this summer he intervened when the first mail carrier was attacked. So I opened up the front door, I grabbed him by the collar, I yanked him inside, shut the door, and then called for the ambulance to make sure that he was okay. The second attack a few weeks later, this time a female later carrier. And that happened right out in front of their yard. I didn't witness that. I just happened to pull up as the ambulance and, and fire truck and the EMTs were already out there dealing with her. And I didn't walk up and get a good look, but I could see that she had blood all over her. Following the second attack, the two dogs suspected of the attack were taken to the Greenfield Animal Care and Control Office. Someone broke into their facility and took those dogs. Since the dogs are unaccounted for, the Postal Service suspended mail delivery on this street to front door boxes. For Patterson and Luke, both of them have children that are not allowed to go near the cul-de-sac. Patterson told IT Mate that the third dog of the house is in quarantine for at least two weeks for the attack of Tillman. Since the attack, the 12-year-old is afraid to leave the house. Even when we go on a walk, he gets scared and comes up close to me. If he hears a dog bark and I have to tell him, don't, it's okay, they're in the backyard. Patterson tells us she's considering legal action against the owners of the dogs. In Greenfield, Richard Essex, Wish TV, IT Mate.